For some employees, sipping a beer over lunch is no big deal. But what about lighting up? That's a question being left up to employers. Business leaders say legalization poses the greatest risk to heavy industries like construction and mining. Err on the side of safety. If you think somebody's impaired, remove them from the job site and deal with the consequences of that if they happen not to be impaired than leaving them on the job site and having to deal with the consequences of an injury or an incident, which is something nobody wants to deal with. I spoke to some big players in the resource industry about their policies when it comes to pot. Mega companies like Nutrien, K Plus S and Cameco all have reminded their employees that when they show up to work, they should be fit for duty, free of impairment from drugs or alcohol. But this is an industry where drug testing happens and marijuana can stay in the system longer than alcohol. That makes legal drug use tricky. Cameco is warning employees that they may not be able to smoke up in their personal time and expect to pass a drug test at work. The uh, issue is going to be uh, what constitutes acceptable uh, levels of marijuana in your system. And frankly, I think that that's something that is going to have to be established in part by the legislatures, and it's something we're working with the government to try and do. And it's also going to have to be defined by case law as this thing goes forward. Nutrient tests for marijuana through urine analysis. Its cutoff limit is a concentration of 50 nanograms per milliliter. Safety isn't the only risk legalization poses, according to Saskatchewan's Chamber of Commerce. There's also a question of fairness to employees. Employers have a, have a legal responsibility to keep all employees and the workplace safe. They also have a human rights responsibility to make sure that if they request that a, an employee be tested, that they have some basis of fact. They just can't go randomly across the employee pool and say, I want you and you and you to be tested. The chamber says all workplaces should have a policy in place when it comes to pot and not take a wait and see attitude. Bottom line is on the, on the morning of the 18th you're going to have some employees across this province who are going to come with a, big, a different grin to work than they did before. Let's be ready for them. Legalization or not, employers say employees know the rules. Don't show up to work under the influence. Pot becomes legal in Canada next Wednesday. Stephanie Taylor, CBC News, Regina.